Since last year, a lot has happened here at Peg Development. In spite of all the headwinds that we're facing in the economy, um, we've opened the Lord's Moxie. We have opened Revival Apartments in downtown Salt Lake. Um, there's been several of the extended state conversion properties that have opened. Recently, Spring Hill Suites Scottsdale opened. We broke ground on the AC in Scottsdale. Desert Color Apartments, the Tucson Bautista Apartments, the Bill for Rent Project in Caldwell, Idaho. And we've had a successful integration into the Nanaimo community with our courtyard by Marriott there. Nanaimo is a city on Vancouver Island uh, in British Columbia. It sits on the eastern shore about the middle of the island and it's a growing community. And the city of Nanaimo put out an RFP years and years ago seeking development on a city-owned piece of property right next to a city-owned convention center. And they went through numerous iterations, projects that ultimately never came to fruition. So they had gone through this process for 10 years. So we looked at it, we responded to the RFP, and were selected as the developer to do a courtyard by Marriott in Nanaimo. Early in the process, we began working with the Sunemo First Nation. This site uh, was historically a part of their lands. It was a place where they would camp and fish and, and take care of their families. And so early on, we decided that it would be important to uh, pay homage to their heritage. Every piece of property within Sunemo territory is sacred to our people. But our elders are very happy that we're uh, here as partners, joined with Peg, and not standing on the outside looking in. Good afternoon, Courtyard by Marion, and I'm Elvis Kendra. When you're building on an island, there are unique challenges. We've got labor issues, you know, having enough people, getting materials to the island. It just adds cost, time, and complexity. And so our contractor suggested that we look at a prefabricated or panelized system for the exterior. They environmentally friendly, low waste, no waste type of a product with a very high thermal value and something that could be completely assembled including the finishes inside and out and the windows installed. That project started before COVID and so we did encounter some challenges uh, in terms of production and manufacturing. But you know, we pivoted, we adjusted with some creativity and some uh, willingness to stick with it. Ultimately, you know, what was installed has, has turned out uh, really well. Peg was unbelievably open and friendly. They always took phone calls, they always reached out. Cameron himself has been on the board of directors, so it's been a great relationship. It's really allowed us to go out now and really sell Nanaimo and be competitive with those other cities such as, you know, the Whistlers, the Penticton's, the Victoria's. So thank you to Peg and to, and to their team for to choosing to come to Nanaimo. The Nanaimo project is an, a good example of what we're capable of as a company. It was building in Canada on an island, a uh, public-private partnership with the Sunemo Nation. Uh, we used some cutting-edge technology with the Nexi panels. All in all, I think it was a great success. We plan to leverage that creativity, that perseverance, to propel us into the next era of PEG development.